That's all for me. I like to do it where the bar ends right at the, the end of the ram mount. Because to me, that's just the most balance on my car. I did the same thing on my XB2, so that works for me. It might work for you, but try it out. Easy method. fish Mendota in a long time so haven't caught a striper in a long time either because I haven't come came back out here so hopefully get the striper on lose us the game see how it goes touching my drive and park right there nice and safe see what I can do Alright, so I got one question to ask is do you respect other fishermen when you go fishing and of their property or around their area? I gone fishing plenty of times and it's almost like once in a while only. It's, it's not too often but once in a while you get a person who if you're fishing from shore they'll come by and they'll fish right next to you. They'll sit next to you, they'll fish next to you, they'll cast their line in your spot. If they see you catching the fish, they'll come right next to you and fish in your spot because they know you caught a fish. And to me, that's very annoying. So, the other day, I showed in my uh, my clip, well, I don't have on video, but I thought about recording them, but I didn't want to. They didn't want to show who they are. But it was annoying because I was at Lake Kawea, I'm fishing, and all of a sudden, when I show up, I was the only car there. It's all open. Well, even when I came back, it's still all open. This car decided this brand new Mustang, probably like a 2019 Mustang or 2020 Mustang, parked right behind me about 25 feet behind my car. But yet, the thing that bugged me was that there was four of them fishing. With, they brought the lawn chair and they sat right next to my car in the water in the lake. So there's like about a good eight to 10 feet from my car to the water where I launched. And they sat right in between my car and the water, which to me is very stupid because now they're fishing in my car. And as I was watching, the younger guy didn't know what he was doing. So he was like constantly flipping his rod back and forth and yanking things out. So I'm all like, dude, you're gonna have your weight fly up and hit my car. I have a buddy done that a few times to my old uh, Scion XB where we're fishing at the Delta and two ounce weights flying back towards my car. And I'm like, dude, got lucky you didn't break anything. A couple of dents, a couple of scratches, but like, you don't, you don't fish next to another person's car. And I know it was windy, so they're trying to get something to block them from the wind. It's like, they can move the car down closer to the water and then put their seat in front of the, the car so they could use their car as a blockage. But no, they all came by my car, sat by my car, fished by my car. So when I came back, I'm like, what the heck, man? So I can't even drag my kayak to my car because they're, they're sitting all over my car. They're fishing around my car, so I can't even open my doors and put my stuff back in my door, so it was pretty annoying. So like, give the other fishermen the respect and give them space. Don't get in their way and don't fish next to other people's car. Unless there's no other way to fish anywhere else, but uh, it was like open lake, a big open lake. There's nobody anywhere else. They decided to fish by my car. And the, the truck beat in front of me, they fished by their car. So I was like, don't fish in front of other people's car. This is very annoying. So my, my thing is, be respectful to other fishermen. If you park where you fish, or if you fish there, fish near your car. If you're not, and you're constantly wondering, if you're if you're like a bass fisherman and you're 
doing a couple casts, moving along. I don't care. You could fish by my car. You could fish because you're going to move along two, three casts and you're done. Those guys are like every single minute, somebody's reeling in and casting. So, like, you got four poles doing this every minute. Weights flying, lures flying. It's like, dude, annoying. But that's just my gripe. There's so much gunk in the water. And the water is murky as hell. And things are floating all over the place. They're like, grass and weed and other plants it's it's all over the place i'm trying to hover at the deepest area right here is about almost 13 feet the only sorry part about fishing in the shallow areas there's like a line of tree stump underwater right next to the, the main channel and if you're a little off you're gonna get snagged, which I'm snagged right now on um, probably a piece of log. Oh, there you go, came out. One of those diving birds. That's a hard snap. Oh, that snag was quick. <laughs> So strong. sucks. Alright. Time for a buzz bait. A good old buzz bait.
bunch of anything in here. I barely even need her anything. And, well, that side being closed off, I don't think it's that good. So, yep. Short video and no fish. So, I guess I might as well show my uh, loading and unloading the kayak, I guess, onto the car. Hopefully I don't drop it.
Lost it. Okay. There we go. Before I lose it. And BLT.